Hello, my fellow resin printers and Halo Mage Pro owners. I'm going to show you today how to upload a file to your printer using Creality Cloud. Those of you still using memory cards and USB drives, it is time for you to step forward into the future and work with today's cloud technology. Creality Cloud offers you the ability to print directly to your printers from the cloud without ever having to leave the comfort of your desk. Let's go ahead and do that now. Assuming you have already properly sliced the file into a G-code for your Halo Mage Pro printer, you will log into your Creality Cloud account via creatycloud.com. If you do not have an account, make one now and bind your printer to that account. Once you have your account set up and your printer is bound, you will hover your mouse over the upload function on the top right hand corner of the screen and click on upload slices. In this screen, you will not be uploading STL files. You'll be uploading files you have already sliced in the slicer of your choice. In my case, G2Box Pro. Click on select files, navigate to the folder containing your file, click on that file and press open. Creality Cloud will process that file and present you with an upload button when that process is finished. You'll see the process is finished. You will click the upload button. When the upload is complete, it will briefly say upload done and bring you to this screen showing you all of your previous uploads and the current upload, which is this one right here. You can click print right here or you can click into the model for further details. Once in here, you can go ahead and press print as well and it will present you with a list of printers that are compatible with that sliced file. I have several printers connected. However, only one resin printer compatible with this file. Creality Cloud automatically detects this and offers me that printer for printing. I will click on it. You'll see it's now checked and I will select prints. It will ask you to make sure you have no other prints on your print bed. You will press confirm. You may think this is silly, but I recently destroyed my FEP by leaving a print on my print bed and starting another one. Press confirm and you will be offered this screen which allows you to make adjustments to your print without having to re-slice the model or walk over to your machine and work with the machine's user interface on its screen. If you see any settings here that are changed and you'd like to try default, simply click on restore default value and it'll set it back to default. Default value is what I'm going to be working with. Press print. Once you press print, it will then send the file wirelessly to your Halo Mage Pro printer and the print will begin. You will be able to monitor the print from the screen, from the Creality Cloud app on your phone or tablet. And if you have a USB camera attached to your Mage Pro, you will actually be able to watch the print take place. So those of you who haven't jumped in, to wireless printing through Creality Cloud. I encourage you to try it now. It's a very useful service. It works great. You can stop using memory cards and USB drives and start using Creality Cloud right now. Hey.